guys, Megan here, and time for another book review! Today, I am going to be talking about Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armentrout, and I've been wanting to read this book for a while now, but I have not had time, and just so many other books to read, but I have finally picked it up. So, got it from the library, and I got through this book extremely fast. I was doing the overnight shift when I started this book. I brought it with me to read on break and just <sighs> within the next day I had finished it. And I've heard so many good things about this book and Jennifer L. Armentrout in general and just I could not wait to read it. I had high expectations of it because of all the good things people have said and I was not disappointed at all. So the main female protagonist's name is Katie. She sometimes goes by Kat, and she has recently moved from Florida to basically the middle of nowhere, West Virginia. So that's a pretty big change, and I like Katie a lot. I find she is a very interesting character, and just, I feel I can relate to her a bit. Mostly because I too have lost a parent from cancer. I'm a bookworm, obviously, and... <laughs> I love how the fact that she's a book blogger, and I, that just made me so happy reading about a book blogger. She's almost like a booktuber, and I too have moved in my life, so that's another little relatable thing. So I'm like, yay, I like this character. I have stuff in common with her. Yay! So she moves to the middle of nowhere, West Virginia, and she, their closest neighbors' names are Damon. I, is it Damon or Damien? When I read his name, I read as Damon. So if I am wrong, please let me know so I can correct myself. And his twin sister, D. And Damon is an asshole. But I love it. I love like his dialogue and his interactions with Katie because they just always made me like smile and like either internally or externally laugh and just I love their interactions. And Dee is like super hyper and bubbly and awesome and just anything that you would want in a best friend. And just, I don't want to say too much about the premise of the story because I don't want to give spoilers um, for anyone who has not read this book yet. But it is really awesome. I enjoyed it greatly. It was a really fast read. This book is just under 340 pages, so it's reasonably short. I found it a really fast read. I got through it really fast, and I was hooked from the get-go. I just, from the moment I picked this book up, I could not put it down, which was very annoying since, like I said, I picked this book up when I was working the overnight at work. So, yeah, I had to... I had to have one of my co-workers forcibly drag me away from the break area to get back to work or else I probably would have sat there reading for the last half of my shift. And as much as I would greatly enjoy that, getting paid to read, I don't think my managers would have been too happy. <laughs> this book was awesome. Highly, highly recommend it. It's, it's awesome. I can't wait to read the next book. Which is annoying because it's like five holds on it at the library, and there's only like one or two copies in the system. So I'm just like, hurry up, people, and read it so I can read it. Stupid book buying ban. So I'm cutting myself off here and gonna be going into my spoilery bit. So if you have not read this book and do not wish to be spoiled, click away and come back after you read the book. So, see you guys. All right. So if you're watching this now, I assume that you have already read the book or you do not care about being spoiled. So, spoiler time! I really, like I said in my beginning bit, I love this book. I can't wait to keep reading. And I have to say, this is probably the first alien book I have ever read. Out of all the books I have read in my lifetime, I don't think one of them has been about aliens. So I found this to be a really awesome change of pace. So, unlike some of my other reviews, I'm not going to, like, break down, like, everything that happens in this book because I don't want to give everything away, and I feel the way I did it, like, the way I do videos like that gives a lot away, so I don't want to do that. So, yeah. So we found out that Damon, Dee, and quite a few other people in the town are aliens. They are called the Luxon, and they are from 
this planet that's super, super far away, light years upon light years away. They are at like the furthest you can get from Earth. And their planet was destroyed by these like evil aliens that are like the Luxons arch enemies, basically. And these are the aliens I believe are called the Aurum. I am not sure if I am saying that right, but close as I'm gonna get. And they are basically polar opposites of Luxon. Luxon are... They can look human, which is very useful because they kind of need to blend in here on Earth, are basically light. They are made of light. And I thought that was really cool because when I think aliens, I think like little green men from Mars and E.T. and all that. So the fact that they are neither of those, they are indeed creatures made out of lights, they're humanoid in shape, but they're made out of lights. I thought that was really cool and interesting. Because, you know, intelligent life out there, it could be anything. So, thinking outside the box there. And the arm are the polar opposites of Luxon. They are creatures made out of darkness. They are the dark to the Luxon's lights. And the arm, they're evil. They like to hunt down Luxon and, and basically drain them of their powers because each Luxon has like their own powers. So the arm feed off of that power in the process killing the Luxon. So the Luxon kind of want to stay hidden from these arm. They feel bad for Katie because she gets mixed up in all sorts of crap with the arm and the Luxon and just crazy shenanigans. And we do find out that Damon is not a complete asshole. He just comes off as an asshole because he does not want to get attached to Katie. Unlike his sister Dee, who becomes like BFLs with Katie. Damon is just like, no, can't do that. Nope, we must remain separate from the humans. And it doesn't help that they had a third brother, a triplet, who was basically killed along with the human girl that he fell in love with. So Damon's like, yeah, that's not gonna happen anymore. Not gonna happen, not gonna let it happen to me. But he does like Katie more than he should, so he attempts and fails to stay away from her. I don't know how well he thought that was gonna go, since, you know, considering their next-door neighbors, and, and just the chemistry between Katie and Damon is... and the tension is just... Oh my god! At some points in this book, I just wanted to scream, Just freaking kiss already! Oh my god! And it's very rare that I want to shout that when I'm reading a book. Or even, like, think that reading a book. The tension in here was so intense that... That's all I could think. Just kiss and get it over with already. Come on! Both of you, just get over yourselves! And, and then, of course, there are times where I wanted to punch Damon because he was going all hot and cold. I understood the reasons, but it's like... Dude, if you're gonna stay away from her, if you say you're gonna stay away from her, stick with that choice. Really. And then it's funny when he gets all, like, jealous of other guys paying attention to Katie. It's like, dude, you have no right to be jealous. Back off. I also love how there's no love at first sight in this book, which I absolutely love. Not that I hate love at first sight, mind you. I think it's an interesting concept and people can go a lot of different ways with it. And I like how at the end of the book, where Damon is just like, Well, we should be together now! And Katie's like, No, um... I like how she's basically sticking by her gun. She does not like how Damon was like being all hot and cold with her. And... She doesn't want to put up with that, and she's sticking by her gun so far. I don't know how that's going to change in the other books, but I like that. I like that a lot. So yeah, I like how she doesn't immediately want to be in a relationship with him because of how he treated her in the past. So go, Katie. You do not take that kind of crap from a guy or anyone in general. So you go, girl. All in all, so far, I am loving this series. I can't wait to pick up Onyx, which I believe is the next one. No, my luck, I got that wrong and accidentally requested the fourth book, but whatever. So, super excited and yeah, I'm wondering what was anyone else's opinions on this? What do you like? What do you hate? What do you want to see more of? And so on and so forth. So, that will be it for this book review, and I hope to see you guys next time. See ya!